My character is Frey, she's a nurse, and um, she's a friend of uh, Meg's characters when they're young. Um, she's a very interesting character because I do think she represents a lot of the young people from the slums. She is someone that has a dream to become a nurse and to just follow it and fights hard to get into it. It's, it's hard for these young people, they don't have many opportunities in life, so they really have to fight to, to survive and to, to get the chance to do what they want to do in life. And that's her journey, and I really like that. It's beautiful. I play this guy called Spider. He's a, a combination of a revolutionary and, a, and, a, and an outlaw and a hacker. And he, he basically smuggles people into Elysium so people can have health, uh, medical care. And there isn't one thing that caught my attention when I was reading the script. This guy has a problem with his leg, his limbs, but right? he uses a cane. And he never thought about going there to heal himself. And I was like, why? And I realized that was a great turning point for me in order to understand the character, because he doesn't want to go there because he doesn't care. He doesn't want to be part of Elysium. You know, he's very happy and proud to be out of the system. And, but he would be very happy to take it over if he could. And that possibility comes true when he meets Matt's character. And then uh, uh, it's a big turning point in the film and, of course, for the character. And he, he changed from a small-time thief to a revolutionary. It's like a condominium. In our countries, we can mm -hmm. say it's a condominium. Like, you, you go out in Brazil and you can see, like, the whole chaos in the city, and then suddenly you go through a gate, and then there's those perfect american look like houses that everything, like, there's, there are guards going around. That's the kind of thing. Like, but the earth becomes something very horrible. It becomes, like, a big favela, and the rich people just go away, like, in a lot of third world countries happen. So I think Elysium is that. It's, it's, a, it's a place that it's, yeah. everything is perfect. Uh, they, they have cure for diseases. They have a mad bay that cure themselves. So pretty much, in my opinion, that's it. Yeah, that's just pretty much that. It's, it's a great metaphor for not caring about what's, what's not going on with you, with yourself. You know, not looking at, and this is a very, um, for us in Brazil, this is a very this is very clear because also the favelas are pretty near, pretty close to, to very fancy neighborhoods. Yeah, and definitely. This is kind of what Elysium is, you know. There are a lot of Elysiums yeah. in Brazil and all, all around. The, and I think the that's world. why it's a special film, exactly, because like Neil comes from South Africa and and it he resonates has that, a lot with it us. It totally. This is the first film that I do in Hollywood, me speaking English, and I was like, I'm gonna work with Matt Damon. So I was like, what is it gonna be? Because he's a big celebrity, and, and, and I was really happy to, to understand that he never behaved as a celebrity. He was always an actor. And the biggest pleasure that I have in my profession is playing with actors that are open to the game to play. And that, that's the way Matt behaved all the time. And always very friendly and very supportive and very, and he's a great actor.